So far on Poison Mushroom, I've covered a lot of games based on TV shows. Between Pimp My Ride, Deadliest Catch, House, and all the other game show games I've done, you're probably thinking that any video game based on a TV show pretty much has to be total garbage. But those TV shows all have one thing in common, they're all American TV shows. Maybe we'll have more luck taking a look at a game based on a German TV show, Autobahn Polis... Polis... Autobahn Palsy? Now thank god Wikipedia exists, because otherwise I wouldn't have any idea that this game is actually based on a thrilling police drama that's aired on German TV for 30 goddamn seasons. Apparently it highlights the antics of a two-man team of highway patrolmen, and it's renowned for its extremely well-performed stunt work, which apparently looks so spectacular that it wouldn't look out of place in a full-fledged movie. Let's just say this doesn't necessarily translate perfectly to the game itself. And you can be forgiven for not even knowing that this game exists. I mean, I was surprised to see that the game even had a page on Metacritic. Mind you, it doesn't have any reviews from critics or users. In fact, I wasn't able to find a single review of this product anywhere by anyone. Except for a random YouTube user who claims that, while not perfect, the game still delivers where it counts. Which is kind of like saying that although the Ebola virus isn't perfect, it still gets the job done. When you first start playing the game, the very first thing you'll notice is how awful the voice acting is. This is Cobra 11. We need your help for an escort because we're one colleague short. Could you be down at the container harbor in five minutes? Hey, I've always wanted to work for an escort service. It's not that kind of an escort, you old philanderer. Who talks like that? It's not just that the acting is terrible, but the translation is bad too. When was the last time you heard someone say philanderer in the English language when they weren't giving a sermon or demonizing a politician? Hey, I've always wanted to work for an escort service. Translation. Wow, I've always wanted to have sexual intercourse with prostitutes. It's not that kind of an escort, you old philanderer. Translation. Not those kind of escorts, you geriatric pervert. Oh man, they got them both. Ben, we need to stay on that truck. I'll drive alongside and you'll climb into the cabin and take over. Great. It'll be as easy as changing trains. Did someone slip some floories into Ben's drink before the recording session? He just watched his friend explode two seconds ago, and now his partner's telling him to perform a daring and extremely dangerous jump onto a moving transport truck while traveling on the Autobahn at over 100 kilometers per hour, and he responds like his wife just asked him if he could buy milk on his way home from work. Great. It'll be as easy as changing trains. But really, poor voice acting is probably to be expected considering the source material, and if that's all this game suffered from, then things wouldn't be so bad. Unfortunately, the voice acting is so bad that it's funny, while the rest of the game is just so bad that it's, well, shiza. One of the most frustrating things about this game is its difficulty, which oscillates from mind-numbingly simple to nearly fucking impossible, sometimes even within the same level. The very first mission of the game is split up into two parts. The first part gives you five minutes to drive to a destination that's literally less than 500 feet away, the second one is a multi-part nightmare that lasts for 15 minutes, including the aforementioned daring jump onto a moving transport, followed by a section where you have to chase down a renegade SUV apparently driven by Mario Andretti. If the SUV gets more than 175 meters away, you have about 10 seconds to catch up before you fail the mission. Now this sounds easy enough, but I failed this mission about 6 times in a row because the SUV drives like it's powered by fucking rocket fuel. Most of those times didn't even feel like my fault, but rather the game just screwing me over. I mean, I did everything in my power to get this SUV to stop. I rolled it over multiple times, and the game just flipped the car back over and gave them a head start on getting away. One time I even had him pinned against the wall, and the game decided that it wasn't fair, so it reset his vehicle on the road in such a way that it sped away to an easy escape. I mean, if your mission is to incapacitate another vehicle, shouldn't this be enough to complete it? Beyond this, the missions just don't make sense. I mean, take a look at this one, where we have to cut off a truck carrying poisoned beer to a supermarket before it delivers its product. Cobra 11, come in please. A transport from the brewery Aken Dished has got to be stopped before it makes its first delivery. Somehow the fermentation went wrong. The new beer contains methanol and is highly poisonous. Then why don't you just call the driver or let the supermarket know? Because we can, Mr. Wise Guy Gurkhan. No, seriously, this guy has a good point. Why can't you call the supermarket? I mean, that seems ten times easier than sending a police car to speed off after the delivery truck, especially considering the fact that I flat out killed a guy on my way to get there before my time limit ran out. 
Even ignoring this, I seriously don't understand what possible scenario could keep them from calling the supermarket. Do they not have phones? What year is it? It's like the game is actually actively acknowledging that the mission objectives are just flimsy pretenses that loosely frame you driving around from waypoint to waypoint. Nowhere is this more apparent than the mission where you have to investigate the city to find a guy who's kidnapped a teenage girl. Our investigation consists entirely of just driving to big fuck me beacons and coming to a complete stop inside them for three seconds. This goes on for nine whole minutes. And once we get to the last one, they just say, good job guys, now it'll be easy to find the kidnapper. We came, we saw, we conquered. Another great feat accomplished by the dynamic duo. Now all we need to do is find the guy. But judging by all the traces he left behind, it's like everything cool in this game happens off screen and we're just chauffeuring a much cooler cop from place to place. And then while he does the real police work, we just make sure to keep the car warm. The other enormous piss off in this game is the navigation system. It's constantly pointing you in the direction of the objective, but it doesn't take into account obstacles that you might encounter along the way. Like a goddamn train! Or this big ass cliff! Or how about another goddamn train? Since you usually have a limit on how much property damage you can cause without failing a mission, it's hard enough just getting safely from place to place without your GPS deliberately launching you into random pastures. And that's funny, right? When you drive into the cows, they break down into stakes? Hopefully that joke keeps you laughing for a long time, since you're gonna need some cheering up once you realize you're actually trapped by these fences, and the only way to get out is to restart the mission from the very beginning. Overall, the biggest problem with this game is that it can't decide whether it wants to be an arcade racer or a sim, so instead they opted for something in the middle that just does not work. You're punished for causing property damage, but repeatedly encouraged to launch your car over ridiculous jumps for next to no reason. You can't just toe the line between Burnout and Forza, or you end up with something that isn't simmy enough to satisfy real driving fans, but not nearly outrageous enough to appeal to other people. In the end, all we have here is a frustrating mess whose only redeeming quality is voice acting that's so bad, Tommy Wiseau should consider hiring them for his next movie. Hey, I've always wanted to work for an escort service. Thanks for watching guys, if you liked the video feel free to give it a thumbs up or add it to your favorites, and be sure to check out my channel if you want to see more. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week with another shitty game.